In our workspace, we're going to use Maven as a way to resolve our dependencies. We're going to use Maven install to grab all those various artifacts. We simply provide the artifacts we want to get, as well as the versions. In this case, we'll be just fetching the artifacts. To get started, open your workspace in your editor of choice. We're going to write the rules to create our Android app. Let's add a comment to designate those rules. We'll get started by loading the Android SDK. In my case, I have Build Tools 30.0.0.2 installed. You can add Build Tools by way of the SDK Manager in Android Studio. Next, we'll get the Android Tools. Then we need to get our Android rules. Of course, building an Android app, we need to load the rules for the JVM. First, we'll define a couple of constants. Next, we'll get the actual JVM rules. Now that we have the JVM ready to go, we need to get a reference to the Maven install function. We do this by way of load. At this point, we can now add all of our dependencies. In the Maven install function, we pass in an array of artifacts. Now we'll list all of our artifacts. There's a lot of them. after which we defined all the various repositories. Finally, we set fetch sources to true to download the dependencies. Believe it or not, we still have a little more code to write. The app is written in Kotlin, so we need to get a hold of the Kotlin rules.
Finally, we need to call a few additional functions to initialize Kotlin. Add the following. And that's it. We have our workspace all set up for both of our apps in our mono repo. Before we can actually build, we need to write our build file, which is what we'll do in the next episode.